my shirt in here. Hello, Mr. Computer here. Okay, so we're doing a muzzle flash now, which is fun. I'm kidding, it's not fun. It's boring. Okay, so first you want to get your muzzle flash image. In fact, no. Look at your raw footage first. Find out where you pull the trigger. I think it's about 121. Yeah, 121. Huh. Okay, um... Sorry. Um, and you go into where you find your your muzzle flash. And where do I find my muzzle flash? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. And drag it in to your frame. And now you have this. First of all, you want to, let's say you want to cancel out the black first, okay? Um, <clears throat> bring up the HUD. Um, yeah, or you can press function F7 or F7. And it'll bring up that, and in blend mode, click on that and go down to add. And there it'll cancel out the black. Okay, now, yeah, where you pull the trigger, position it. There you go. If you really wanted to go into detail, you could uh, mask that out, but uh, no one really cares much. There. Um, and then, obviously, it's moved there, so you need to split it it's always fun splitting things um, now I'm gonna go another frame what? And this one, gonna rotate, position it up here. Might I would add a motion blur, but I can't be bothered. And yeah, to be honest, if I really wanted to, I could go in here and stuff around with stuff, but yeah. Yeah. And split it there again. There, and now these ones you want to get rid of. So now you have this, which is very unconvincing and boring and dull and fat, just like your bum. Okay, um, now we're going to add some realism, so, go into generators, go color solid, okay, 
Now bring up the HUD for this. Now, in fact, you you want this. You want this up here. There. Okay. Um, bring up the HUD for this. And then in color, you want to get a bit of a orangey browny look. I think that's good enough. Oh, and also set this to screen. I mean, you, you could do add as well. Or, no, not like, yeah, you could do screen or add. Just do screen because it's much easier for everyone. No, I'm kidding, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. Now, where the muzzle, fl all the muzzle flashes end, you want to split it there. Split. There we go. And delete those. Now you have this. Okay, now what you're going to do is create a mask. So get your masking tool out. And everything. Remember, everything inside the mask will be cancelled out. Okay? Everything inside the mask will be cancelled out. I'm just gonna mask. Oh, wait. Oh, computer's frozen. Hello. 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 Oh, thank you. Um, just masking around here. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it. Yeah. There, now we have this. Which is bad. Okay, so now what you want to do is drag it onto the color solid and we get this. Which is bad as well. As, as you can see, see... No one's gonna. No, no one's. No, okay. No. So, what we do, select the Bezier and bring up its HUD. And here in Feather, you want to feather it like crazy. Feather. Feather. Okay. Now, if you invert it, it just. That's some other masking tools. Okay, but we don't want to invert it. Okay, we can actually come up here. And if it lets you feather it even more. No, it doesn't. Okay. So now we get this. Which is okay when you add the sound effect. Now again, this is very, very simple. Um, yeah, you can go into a lot more depth into muzzle flashes, but I only have the time to um do little ones like this. Um, and then I'll send it to compressor. Oh no, yes, maybe. No, I don't know. Just export it. Yeah, send to compressor. And then you are right to go. So thank you for watching, everybody. And let's go back to real me. In, yeah, here's me again.
Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching, everybody. Um, and yeah, if you want more of these mini TV film things, then please say so in the comments below. But otherwise, please subscribe, favorite, like, and all that good juicy stuff. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Goodbye.